Football shirt mystery boxes have became quite a big thing this year. I'm not sure whose fault that could be. Football shirts mystery box. Mystery football shirts. 40 football shirt mystery box. Mystery boxes of football shirts. Shirt mystery box. Mystery box. Honestly, absolutely no idea at all. He doesn't look like he's at puberty though. Before we get into this video, I'm going to be giving away a mystery box per 2,000 likes this video gets. So, for 2,000 likes, I'll give away one mystery box, 4,000, and there's no point in worrying about 6,000 because we're not getting close. So basically, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to have a chance of winning one of the mystery boxes that I open in this video. So I'm incredibly aware of the impact my videos have had on the mystery box space in 2020. And also bear in mind that this intro is going to be a tad long. So if you want to just get into the part where I open the boxes, go to this timestamp in the video because that's when the unboxing start. So at the start of 2020, there was no more than about five genuine mystery box companies for football shirts. There's now about a hundred. And let me just start this video by saying this has always been my opinion on mystery boxes. Loads of sites are magically now, since I've been doing this, listing their own mystery boxes. Do not buy them. I've said it numerous times, I've tweeted it numerous times, however, I'm also aware that just because I've said something doesn't mean that people aren't going to be inspired by my videos and still go and try and get a mystery box for themselves. Anyway, I've bought five different mystery boxes for the total cost for me of £200. So let's see just how good or bad these mystery boxes genuinely are for an average consumer. I know what you're thinking, Ellis, whenever a company sees an influencer buy a box or want something from them, they're going to send you something better. That is true. So introducing David Chapman. So for every box was ordered under the alias of David Chapman, a completely different name to, to mine, which is Ellis. Also, please note that this is in no way intended to be a hit piece on these companies, more so a case of I'm buying a box from five different companies to try and prove to my audience or viewers as to whether they should be spending their money on them or not. Also, this is a really small sample size of the companies, obviously, so I'm only ordering one shirt. But I hope that by ordering one shirt, you'll be able to see what an average person would get when they order something. Finally, before we get into opening the boxes, I just want to say that I'm judging these purely based on value for money. And the only value for money item that I think anyone cares about when they buy a football shirt mystery box is the shirt. They don't care about Harry Bows. They don't care about facts about the club. They don't care about you telling them, oh, you can start a football manager save with them. You can do that anyway. There's, there isn't a rule on football manager that says, ah, oh, you've got this shirt, you can be that team. Also worth noting that I'm doing this in order of when they arrived. So the box that arrived first, I'm going to open first. Maybe it'll help influence your decision, seeing which ones arrived quicker. Um, maybe. Up first, we have surprise shirts. So let's go and find out some more information about surprise shirts what they do and what they offer. Right, so let's start with Surprise Shirts and see what what they're, they're all about. Welcome to Surprise Shirts. I'm an A-level student from Lincolnshire, the founder of Surprise Shirts. So, need to start this by saying, obviously, he is um, an A-level student, so he's gonna be between the ages of 16 and 18. What was I doing at the age of 16? <sighs> Watching a lot of videos. <laughs> Purely educational ones. Goes about saying, do not send any abuse towards these if the shirt they give me happens to be not great. So I can get an adult box, a kid's box, or a training shirt box. I mean, we got, we got the adult box for 32, and I paid five pound delivery. Tissue, paper, wrap, gift wrapping, and some complimentary goodies. So an order total for that came to 37 pound. Let's have a look on Twitter and see what people have been getting from them as to see whether I should be expecting good value or not, because Obviously these boxes I'm doing, I'm only getting one shirt. There's like hundreds of orders for these companies each time. So um, don't just judge necessarily off what I get. We're gonna judge off the wider community of what they get for their money. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is a lot of shirts that are brand new with tags that presumably are picked up from either Eminem Direct, Classic Football Shirts, uh, their sales section, or Vintage Football Shirts, their sales section. Um, so in terms of value, I'm not overly confident. We're gonna get our money's worth, seeing that a lot of people are getting the same like value of shirts, like none of them are great. What I would do if I had a mystery box company for myself right now, is I would always ensure that one person a month at least was getting a shirt that is amazing, because then you'd at least be able to draw people in with the, um, the fact that they might be able to get a great shirt. Whereas scenes for this company right now is that everyone is getting really like a middle of the range shirt and no one's getting anything much better. 
let's open this. Right, so before I open this, just to reiterate, what I was doing in sixth form was not a lot and still not hitting puberty and still not having sex. <laughs> and also I obviously fully rate the ingenuity and the business sense to go and start a business like this. It's nothing new to buy and sell football shirts for more money. Every football shirt company in the world does it. I don't know why I'm assuming this is gonna be bad. It may well have that in it. If it does, then surprise shirts. You've done well. I didn't get any Harry bows. Thank you. I did get Harry bows. You ready? It's in the bag. It's a Besiktas shirt, brand new in the bag. Size medium. So for 37 pound, I got this shirt. Let's show you the shirt. So there we have it. We have a Besiktas shirt in size medium for our 37 pounds. Um, it's long sleeved, which obviously everyone knows I like. Let's, I'm just gonna find out the value of this and let you know how much value for money I got for my 37 pound. Right, so obviously there has been people getting Eminem Direct shirts and like classic football shirts, bargain bin stuff from surprise shirts as we saw. However, this one was I think from vintage football shirts and they picked that up for 25 and obviously sold it to me for 32. Then I paid five or extra for postage. So they've bought a shirt for 25, made seven odd quid on it. And I mean, they, they've done worse in terms of value. So I'd, I think I've actually got kind of lucky in that sense. But as you can see on screen, I believe they got it for 25 from vintage football shirts. The next box to arrive was from Football Kit Box. Football Kit Box are actually the reason I had to create the whole David Chapman persona because obviously they've sent me boxes in the past and I've always got amazing stuff from them. So I wanted to see what I would get if I wasn't Ellis Platten. I sometimes wish I wasn't Ellis Platten. Imagine being anyone else, I'd have a great time. So let's go and find out some more information about Football Kit Box and then we'll crack this bad boy open. Right. So footballkitbox.com, something that people that have watched my channel for will be familiar with. For this video, obviously they do several products on their site. Um, they do a J-League Christmas box for 80 quid, but there's either the main options, which is obviously Kitbox, the monthly option, so it's a monthly theme. So there's like J-League, there's a Celtic one, there's a goalkeeper one. Um, but for the sake of this video, I think going Kitbox Gold is the best because every other box is just one shirt. And I feel like the best way to judge would be if we get one shirt from them. So, um, Shirt size M, then a once off, comes to 39 euros 99 plus postage. So it comes to 42 pound in total. As of every other company, let's have a quick check on social media to see what people have been getting. People have been getting some J League shirts from them, obviously from their J League boxes and some scarves and some items there. Um, so basically on their socials at the moment, a lot of people are getting the J League items from obviously their J League kit box. So maybe we'll get a J League item. Um, I'd like one, they're very jazzy. Let's go and open it and see what we got. If I don't get some Harry Bows in here, then they're taking the mick. Before I open this, I just want to say that these are the company that I know have been around the longest. Before I even started making my football shirt mystery box videos, these were around. So I am expecting this to be the best of the boxes because they've had longest to establish themselves. They've got contacts. They've had customers for like two years. So I would presume this will be the best one I'll get. You never know though. It might be bad. And if it is bad, we're never working together again. So this shirt actually came in at the most expensive because Football Kit Box is based in Ireland, so it came to £42. So let's see if I got bang for my buck. I don't know what, what's the point in ripping that? I can just slide it out. So we have this really cool Ethiopia shirt. I, I imagine these are very hard to get hold of. An Ethiopian national team shirt, um, if you didn't know. Ethiopia. For £42, have I got my money's worth? Let's find out. So this Ethiopia shirt is actually listed on classic football shirts, as you can see on screen right now for $49.99. So in total, my order coming to around £42. It doesn't actually seem that bad. So fair play to football kit box. You have taken an early lead out of two contenders. So next up, I've had to unbox this because the parcel didn't have which company had sent it on it. And if this still doesn't have which company sent it to me on it. So I'm hoping I open it and it shows who sent it. I would go and try and tell you some information about this company, but I don't know who it is yet. So I'm hoping I open it and the shirt isn't clear straight away and it has the company name. We'll see. This is from Soccer Shirt Club. I'll be back in a second. Right, so next up was Soccer Shirt Club. 
Um, let's see what products they've got available. So it seems to be quite a common theme that you can either get a shirt for more expensive or you can get the monthly subscription, save yourself some money, or you can get a training kit box in most of these. Um, so what am I guaranteed for this? For £35, I get a random football shirt, which is an official club product, brand new and free delivery. It's actually coming in at one of the cheaper boxes. Let's see what people have been getting from them on social media. But the one the one shirt that was tweeted to them was quite a cool one, but I don't I don't think I'd want that. I don't know how much it's worth is all. Um, they claim that their shirts aren't from CFS sale or M&M direct clearance. So we'll see um, how much the shirt's worth and let's do it. I'm gonna open my eyes in three, two, one. Oh. To be fair, this box is only 35 pound in total, but this might actually be value for money for 35 quid. I don't know how much they actually sell for. We're gonna find out. Okay, so I actually need to give a quick apology for how I reacted to this one. I thought it was like a classic football shirts bargain bin kind of deal, but it's not. This shirt was, is only available on eBay and for my 35 pounds spent, the only place I can find it for sale is 35 pounds. So, they're not done too bad at all. So, it's not a shirt I'd ever buy, but you can't argue that they didn't at least send me something of value to know. Goodbye ham. Next to arrive was Mystique jerseys. So let's take a look at this and let's see what they're all about. Right, so for this next two, you're probably thinking, Ellis, why is your hoodie changed? Well, truth be told, these ones arrived about five or six days later than every other one. So I thought it would only be fair if I made that clear to you, but these ones took a bit longer to come. So Mystique jerseys, as I said, it took a bit longer than the other ones to arrive. But as you can see on their website, let's have a look and see what we can get. So you can get a men's mystery soccer football jersey, a guaranteed long sleeve one if we wanted. So what can we get? Purchase a football shirt or purchase a mystery soccer or football jersey today and you won't be disappointed. I'll be the judge of that. This mystery box will include a brand new soccer or football jersey along with a fan file. Get in. I really, when I'm spending my money, I want to find out facts about a team that I could find on Wikipedia. These shirts may sometimes be retro, special edition or pre-game. Well, that is interesting. If that is a, is a scope where you can get a retro shirt or a special edition shirt, then they genuinely have perked my interest. So let's have a look on social media and see what people have been getting from them and see whether there is a chance to maybe get a great shirt. So someone got a Schalke shirt. Someone got a Qatar shirt. Someone got a Maccabi Tel Aviv shirt. A uh, New York City FC shirt. Um, someone got... A Dortmund shirt, however, this, it can be seen right here, looks a bit, yeah, it's an influencer got a Dortmund shirt, so read into that what you will. Um, I wouldn't say that, you know, I would be certain that someone who isn't an influencer would get one. Let's see what a person that isn't verified or an influencer would get. Also, I forgot to say, this box came to the second most expensive at £41. So, I'm expecting big things. Let's get this bad boy open. I think I must say right now, this is the nicest looking of the boxes. Um, they've even got their socials on the side. So, high hopes. I have high hopes. This is quite a nice detail as well. It's got a question mark. To David, your mystery team jersey is that of Girona Football Club. Yay! £41, we got ourselves a Girona FC shirt. Let's have a look at how much it's worth. As you can see on screen, it is $24.99 on classic football shirts. So that is a loss in value of £16, but at least I did get to find out some Wikipedia facts about Girona. Next. Okay, so finally we have Secret Shirt Co. You're probably thinking, Ellis, why do you have two? Well, funny story, in the notes of all of the orders, I put that it was my son's birthday next week as David Chapman to try and get the companies to send out the items earlier to me so I could, you know, make the video. Uh, and this order took like 12 days still, even though I put that. And due to that, they put an apology note saying, here is a free shirt on us. So obviously shout out to them for doing that customer service, trying to give an extra free shirt because they felt bad. Let's find out more about Secret Shirt Co. Must be said, to be honest, the entire reason I made this video to see whether mystery boxes are genuine or worth the money is 100% due to this company. So 
let's go on their website and see what we can offer or what they can offer and see what we could maybe get. The most exciting way to build your football shirt collection. They're not wrong. I can get a men's secret football shirt. The most exciting way you've said that. Um, your secret shirt box will include a shirt at random from any team, club or country. You'll never receive a pre-match or training shirt. Let's have a look on the Instagram and see what people are saying. This is what they're claiming people can get on Instagram. Apparently someone could get a Dortmund home from this season. Arsenal's away from last. The Juve third from this season. Right, so this is this is my slight problem with this site. They're getting influencers. They also, to be completely transparent, reached out to me. I think initially I said yes. And then I realised I need to start to be promoting things that I think people can actually get. So I thought the best way to see whether this company is genuine is to do it like this. Because as you can see right here, this influencer gets the Ajax away shirt from this season. And it's obviously not financially viable for a company to be giving people 65 pound shirts every time for 35. But if you went on their socials, you would argue that, you know, and see like stuff like this. How nice is this Barca kit? Link in bio to get yours. Insinuating that the person, if you were to go in their bio and enter, you will be getting a great shirt like this. I'm not so sure that's, um, yeah, see, I, I, I don't know. It becomes across as a bit, um, shady to me in terms of if this isn't what people are getting. Essentially what I'm saying is I don't believe I'm going to get a shirt this good, but we'll see anyway. The total value for this was actually the cheapest at $34.99. So if I am able to get this season's shirt for $34.99, I'm going to be pleasantly surprised, but I must say I'm not confident, but we'll see. Right then. So logically based on the fact that advertising that people can get shirts from this season, like Ajax shirts, Inter Milan shirts, Barca shirts, I should be making the most profit from these, surely, because everyone gets great shirts. Once again, they have no idea this is me, so to a regular customer, they have sent an extra shirt. My fear is, though, that the extra shirt is going to be quite a cheap extra shirt that someone who didn't know like a decent amount about shirts would assume was a great addition. So we'll see. I may as well say it before I open these. There is currently a severe shirt on classic football shirts for I think it's like 11 99 and also there's a 10% off discount code with them. Yeah, also need to bear that in mind. Any shirt on classic football shirts, there's always a 10% discount code on too. So knock 10% off the values on that as well. I have a feeling one of them is gonna be the severe shirt that is like a tenner. I might be wrong. Both of these could be amazing shirts. I don't know. They need to be because at this point I've wasted money. Ha. Huh. Let's just assume that was the extra bonus shirt I was going to get. This shirt could still be a great shirt. So for 35 quid so far, I've got about a tenner in value. So this one could be the one that, you know, pushes us great. If this is like this season's Ajax shirt, good lads. It says Hatafe. It is Hatafe. So have a look at this shirt. It's not it's not a horrible shirt, to be honest. Let's have a look at how much the Hatafe shirt is worth and see whether I actually made some profit in value for this one. Also, it goes without saying that two shirts of 35 quid on paper is a pretty good deal, but I have a feeling I could have just got them both off classic football shirts for around 30. I don't really know. Let's have a look at how much the Hatafe one's worth. So as you can see on screen right now, the Hitafe shirt is 25 on classic football shirts, which means with a 10% discount code, it's £22.50. So in total, our order came to £32.50 in value. So it's not too bad for £35 spent. Fair play to them for sending out the extra item, thinking it was for someone's birthday. It didn't have to do that. So fair play. I do think it's wrong the way they're doing their marketing and their advertising. Advertising as if anyone can get these amazing shirts they have. I do think that is morally wrong. Um, I do question that. Anyway, that is all the boxes opened. Let's do like a leaderboard of the worst value to the best value 
for this small sample size. Just before we get into this like leaderboard type thing, I still think if you have around 40 pounds to spend on a shirt, just buy a shirt. I mean, the mystery aspect is great, but unless you're gonna be doing like a monthly subscription to one of them, if you were looking for a one-off purchase, my personal recommendation would be as a one-off, just buy yourself a shirt. Let's go for the five in terms of values for money. I do think if you have 40 pound, there's some sites that do great sales like at the end of the season over Quack Friday at Christmas, I'd always just look out for them because for 40 quid you can get a great shirt. The worst value for money for this video was Mystique jerseys coming in at a loss in value. After the classic football shirts discount code is applied, we actually lost £19.50 in value for money. Um, so not great. In fourth place is surprise shirts. We lost our value for money. We did actually pay for first class postage on that. So our total order was 37. The value of the shirt was 25. They would have used the discount code, but then they'd have paid for postage. So our total loss on that one was 12 pound. Third worst value for money was Secret Shirt Co. And for me personally, it is the most disappointing of them all due to the fact that they teased as if you could get these amazing shirts. And from my experience with them, that just wasn't the case. Second is Soccer Shirts Club, which I was quite skeptical about it, um, even when I reacted to it. But I paid 35 and the only listing I could find online was 35. So fair play. First place in terms of value for this one was football kit box. I spent 42 on the box and the shirt factoring in the classic football shirts discount code of 10% off came to 45. Please note that I've done this very basically in terms of hunting for the shirts. You can probably find all of them cheaper online and maybe more expensive. I don't really know. The way I did this was I looked on classic football shirts. If it was listed there, I just presumed they got it from there and then factored that in. There was only two that weren't listed on Classic and that was the Besiktas shirt and the Guelejo shirt. So both of them were the only sites I didn't have to not search on Classic Football shirts for. Anyway, I hope this has been maybe eye-opening for some of you. I'm aware that in my mystery boxes, you see me pulling like vintage classics and stuff like that, but they have always been sourced from actual suppliers who never tell me what I'm going to get. But obviously I have a heightened chance of getting something great than you do when buying a box like this. That is why I tried to do the community mystery box that I did because some of you got amazing shirts. You all got shirts better than probably what I've ever pulled. So I'd love to do another one of them again. Um, I have always been very open in my videos saying they were supplied by a supplier. So in terms of my opinion on these, I, I would say personally, if you have 40 pound, buy yourself a shirt is my opinion. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. For every 2,000 likes this video gets, I'll give away one of the boxes. Um, I feel like that's the fairest way to do this. Leave a comment letting me know if you want me to do this again. There's loads more sites. There's Depop, there's eBay. It would be really good to see if we can ever find one where we find something amazing, but I doubt it.